Hi everyone, welcome to Financial Insights. I'm Linda, your accounting coach. Today, I want to talk about how to run your business. So I want to provide you six tips you should know how to start your business. When I started my business, I'll be honest with you, I had no idea really what I was doing. I knew the accounting side, I majored in accounting, but running a business is different. As you know, when you're running a business, you have to figure out, okay, what CRM I'm going to use. I need to set up social media. How do I schedule social media posts? How do I create pictures for social media? Okay, I need to find a lawyer so I can get some contracts. Um, set up lots of different things, lots of moving parts. However, what I've learned is you don't have to reinvent the wheel. There's individuals, there's there's blogs, there are podcasts that can help you. And a lot of times people ask me, well, how do I get started? Well, here are six tips that I have learned. Number one, you need a team. And you may say to yourself, well, I don't know anyone else who's an entrepreneur. I got this um, from a actually from a YouTube uh, podcast. The gentleman has stated, um, Evan Carmichael, he has stated, even though you may not know the person, follow them on YouTube and social media. So for instance, that could be individuals like Warren Buffett. So if you have no one in your circle, start listening to podcasts about business, about how other people created their business. And then also some of the things that they failed at. So How I Built It is a great podcast to listen to. So your support team should not necessarily just be about all business. You also want someone who can help you with your mental film, fit fitness, because as we know as entrepreneurs, it can be mentally exhausting. So you need a support system. You need individuals you can listen to. You can just that one person. It may just be one person, just that one person you can vent to and bounce ideas off of. And so that can actually be a mentor. That can be a coach. So you need a support team. Number two, get a coach or a mentor. So Small Business Administration, they have a program called SCORE. It's free mentoring for entrepreneurs, business owners. It doesn't matter what stage of business you are in. I say take advantage of that. It's free. Once again, free. And these individuals have already started there. They've already had their business. They consult with businesses so they know what's going on. So definitely get a mentor. I recommend you get a coach. And you may say, I cannot afford a coach. You cannot, cannot, cannot be successful without a coach. Depending on the season that you're in, you possibly will have different coaches or you may have multiple coaches. But a coach will help you first be accountable and number two, keep you focused. This is so helpful when you're starting or creating a business because so many things come at us. So get a coach. Number three, use contracts. Pay for a lawyer to create contracts for you. Contracts with your vendors, your customers, your employees, agreements, whatever the case may be. You need to have things in writing. Get things, get thing, get a contract. Number four, hire a good accountant. Now, in the accounting profession, there's different accountants. Some accountants, so um, everyone always says, oh, you need a good CPA. Well, some CPAs, they don't specialize in bookkeeping. Like if you will need to set up your QuickBooks, they may not do that for you. So you need someone who will help you set up your books correctly in QuickBooks or help you put something in Excel. Then you also need a tax expert. A tax expert will help you with the tax planning and they will do your taxes. Now, once again, some CPAs, they will not do both. They may do part of it. So you, first, number one, you need someone to help you manage the business, the, the weekly, the daily stuff. You need someone to help you set that up correctly. Then you need the tax planning. You need a tax um, preparer who will help you with tax planning. They will educate you on what you need to do to save on taxes and then also how to record things, you know, what needs to be recorded. Um, and so you can translate that back to your bookkeeper. So definitely have accounting professionals that you can reach out to. You, name, you may not need them on a monthly basis, but you need to, when you initially start off, have sit with someone and have them set you up correctly. Fifth, 
ask for help. Do not um, feel that you cannot ask for help. You know, there's no shame. I meet with so many business owners that they do not ask for help. So they go off and start doing things that they didn't even have to and spending money that they didn't even have to spend. Mm -hmm. So ask for help. When you're stuck, ask for help. And you may say, well, I don't know where to ask. That's where your coach or a mentor will come in. The SBA are getting a business coach. Lastly, keep your overhead low. I see many businesses and nonprofits, they still want to go lease a building. They want to hire a social media manager or someone to handle their videos, whatever the case may be, but they can barely pay themselves. So keep your overhead low. And I also, this is a bonus. As a solo entrepreneur, make sure you pay yourself. Do not go out and pay someone to handle your social media or these other tasks and you can't even pay yourself. So keep that in mind. Keep your overhead low. You don't need all of the shiny things for your business. If you spend time knowing your client and where they are, that will bring in money. So keep overhead low. So this week, I challenge you, if you do not have a business coach or a mentor, go seek one out. You can email me. I can give you some recommendations. Ask friends. Use LinkedIn. Post and say, OK, you know what? I'm looking for a business coach. This is where I need help in. And I'll tell you, you'll probably get, you know, five to ten requests. So that is a great way to find a business coach. Ask for referrals. So remember, we don't have to reinvent the wheel. We wear many hats when we're starting a, a business or a nonprofit. And once again, like I said, it can get overwhelming. But with a support team, individuals that you can talk to, individuals who can connect you with resources, the journey can be less stressful. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and I'll see you next time.